If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that like button. It really helps me out. So g Easy released his latest album, Everything Strange Here, on June 26th, and I wanted to talk about it here. I've never really been into g Easy's music, but I of course knew about him ever since he started making big waves back in 2014 with These Things Happen, which by the way he also confirmed that the sequel to that project is dropping soon. Part of the reason I was never the biggest fan is simply because I'm not into the type of music he makes, or at least for a whole album. Of course there are hit singles and club bangers from him that I enjoy, but I never thought he could convince me for a whole album. But here we are with an experimental album that he says is a 10 song project that encapsulates my mindset and creative inspirations over the last few months. And it really is different. This is not even a hip hop album, but rather something like Mac Miller did with Swimming where he ventured off into more mellow and thoughtful songs, interpolated with a lot of singing instead of rapping too. And this is also what we see g Easy do here. There's maybe a few short passages where he drops some bars, but other than that, it's him singing. And while I'm not the biggest fan of his singing voice, the mix with some heavy reverb and filters on his vocals makes it really interesting and enjoyable. As for the tracks, they're all in a very mellow and dreamy type, but sometimes seem kind of tedious as a majority of them follow a very similar drum pattern. If the album was any longer than 10 tracks, that would have really become an issue. There are two covers on here, the opening track Everybody Gotta Learn Sometime, and of course David Bowie's Lazarus, on which g Easy himself even plays the piano. Tracks like Stand By Me or Back To What You Knew are more up-tempo, while Every Night Of The Year is a very slow song in which Gerald's singing is only assisted by an acoustic guitar. The themes on this record also differ from usual g Easy songs. For example, on Free Porn Cheap Drugs, the first single we got back in May, and that has been one of my favorite songs from that month, where he talks about life moving too fast and builds a metaphor for free porn and cheap drugs through that. He also voices his wish to move away and disconnect from technology. Eight weeks ago, I didn't know I needed to make this. The world has been turned upside down and inside out. But a lot of us have had the opportunity to self-reflect and evolve. This is what he said before the album was released, and I feel like it sums up pretty well why I do think this album is good. It pushes his limits as an artist, and especially g Easy has been locked into one specific style of music for most of his career. We see him take inspiration from other artists and genres on here, like when he did a cover of Radiohead's Creep some time back, or how he interpolates the Pixies' Where Is My Mind chords on All The Things You're Searching For. I am really happy this album came out, and it will definitely be in my rotation for the next couple weeks and months. And while it wasn't perfect, mostly due to his not yet mastered singing and the dullness of the drum patterns throughout, I did enjoy it and am looking forward to more like this from Gerald. If you've watched this video to the end and liked it, I would really, really appreciate it if y'all would subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that like button. It really does help me out. So until the next one, y'all have a good day.